G'day legends, today's video is of a session, a coaching session I had with a very good young player, 14 year old Tyler Brown. Um, in it we focused on playing spin, um, and then I talk a bit towards the end about how he doesn't have to be at his best to score runs. So he was a bit flat that he hadn't hit the ball as well as he can, and often we're not gonna hit the balls at, at our absolute best, but we can still score runs even in that state. So I hope you enjoy this video, please like, comment and share, and let's get into it. All right. Good shot. Nicely played. Nice. Okay, a little bit more risk there than just a solid four defence, but you've got to take lowish risk and to be able to score off those good balls. Well done. If you start playing that well, it's going to become a low risk shot. All good. All good. Stayed a bit low. Like it. You're trying something. Now just evaluate and think about where that maybe could have gone... Differently, but good. Trying to score. Well played. It's all right. Nice and busy. Front foot, back foot. Doing whatever you need to do. Practicing different things. Shot. Class that, mate. Well played, excellent batting. Nice, good. Okay, nice Tyler, yep. Use your crease, just think, mid-wicket's there, got to try and beat him. Either side of mid-wicket's a run. Well done, front of point, single, good boy. Okay, let's try some leggies. Excellent use of your crease. Well done. Deep in your crease. No. Well played. Good bad bowling. Well played. Oh, hey, bowling skulls. Hey. Just got to get something on it. Like just pat it, whatever, something. Don't let it beat your outside edge. Shot. And then that forced what with your bat swing? What did your bat swing do? It actually sort of you closed it and then your leading edge was showing. So instead of like swinging through with a full face, you really closed off and got the leading edge. That's a wide, bad bowling. Well played. Single to long on, good batting. Well adjusted. Where were you trying to hit that? Okay, tough shot when it's pitching outside off and spinning away. So you're better off probably like going with the spin. Well done, nice. Got on top of the bounce, excellent. Back deep in your crease, well done. Shot. Awesome, awesome. I'd love you to be so good that every time they... Anyone pitches outside leg, it's a free hit. Get your pad in the way so it can't bowl you. Shouldn't be giving out LB, pitched outside leg and you're just sweeping it. Right shot, just didn't get your technique quite right. All good, next ball. That's a lovely shot, Tyler Brown. Boy, bowling skulls. Offies. All good, yep. And then you're just closing and turning a bit early. So you want to sort of come through and then clip. Or punch with a full face to long on. Well done. Awesome, you watched it right on. Very nice. Good. Because of the fire? Well done, well done. Good intent. All good. 
Shot, Tyler. Good boy, head down. Nice. Two more. Shot. No run, no back to the bowler. That's a good shot, mate. Well done, well done. Pick him up. That, so that is about, like, the, the more balls you can score off against spin, the less risk you are forced to take. Yep. You can take risk, but you can take risk on your terms and hit the, hit the ball where you want to hit it, yep. rather than dot, 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 okay, I've got to now try and hit one of their good balls to somewhere. Do you know what I mean? So just trying yep. to just practice from now for the rest of your career getting off strike. Because yep. it's something that a lot of players struggle with, myself included. Like a good spinner, if you're not able to manipulate your bat face and positions, yep. and don't be afraid to, like if it's an offy, walk across a little bit and try and open up an off stump ball to square leg. Yep. Maybe leggy, give yourself a bit of room, hit a middle stump ball through there. Trust your bat. Yep. Trust your hands. I heard a great thing, and you probably heard the same thing if you're watching, Kerry O'Keefe said he spoke to Marna Slabashane's batting coach, yep. and apparently they do a lot of work without stumps. And Marnus just would move around and hit the ball wherever he wants to hit it. Yep. And it, for a couple of things, it, it meant that he then didn't really have a fear of getting bowled or missing the ball, yep. but he'd also then be able to like hit balls from outside off through square leg or whatever. So you've almost got a you've almost got a bat like there's no stumps. Yeah. I'm not saying we have to practice like that, but just a put that fear and just hit the ball where you want to hit it. Trust yep. your hands, trust yourself that you hit it. You'll hit it. A lot of people are scared they'll miss it, so they don't do things. Okay, that last bit wasn't your best, but that's all right. Like, you are good enough to score runs at 60% of your best, 70% of your best. You, don't, you can't always be at your best, so don't stress about it. Just be like, okay, today it wasn't quite working, but it, it'll happen. Yep. I think the key in next week is to go in with not trying not to expect too much, because that'll put pressure on yourself. You, expectation creates pressure. So try and just say, I'm going to go and have fun. Whatever happens, happens. I'm ready. I'm good enough to be here. I deserve to be here. So I'm just going to go out and treat it like any other game. Yeah. And if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. It's only two innings. Yeah. Okay, so things could go your way. Things might not. You might get out to a freak bit of fielding. You might get out to a bad decision, whatever. You might get run out. Who knows? You, a lot of things you can't control. So just try not to control it too much and just go there with an open mind. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Um, if you do get in, try and go deep in the innings. Yep. Okay, be a little bit selfish if you have to be, but you always got more time than you think in white ball cricket. Okay, a lot of people throw their wicket away when there's eight overs to go, or 12 overs to go, or six overs to go, even though there's 30, 40, 50, 60 balls still left. So if you can get off strike easily, or more frequently, you'll pick up the odd boundary, that'll just happen naturally. Yep. So just don't panic if there's a slow period, try and hang in, try and get off strike, try and run hard, and then you'll come out the other side and you'll catch up. Yep. Yeah, but be hungry. If you get in, go big. If you, if you miss out, you miss out. But you deserve to be there. Yep. It's good. Cheers. Well done. Played the spin as well. Thanks for watching, Legends. Really appreciate you taking the time. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. Um, please, as I said at the start, like, comment, share. Help us get our videos out to more people. Um, we'd love to really help other cricketers throughout this tough time where everyone's stuck at home. Uh, this video is being published during COVID-19, so please um, pass on our content to anyone who it could help, and I'll really appreciate it if you can. Thanks, guys.